Another day of the Insignia owner and today I will try to uh, change the engine oil and, and a filter. So first what I need to do, I need to uh, well, loosen up the nuts for the right wheel and put it on the, on the jacks. So that's gonna take me a while. So after that I'm gonna continue. So now when we got the car supported uh, from the both sides, uh, I'm trying to remove the, uh, the tray and after that I think I can start with draining the oil. It is right here, I cannot catch the brightness, that's the sun plug, so I need to open this one to drain the oil. So here is the sun plug and the washer, the best is to inspect it if you want to refit the same one but I recommend to just buy the new one, it's about two pounds so it's not a big deal. I put a new one somewhere on the back and next what we need to do is uh, up here somewhere, I don't know if I can reach it, oh, that's, the, that's the oil filter housing. Oh. With the light is, is way better. So that's the oil filter housing. You need the socket number 30 to, to remove it. And when you're gonna remove it underneath here from this side, actually, I will try to picture it in a minute. There's a little hole, holes. Uh, so the best is to put like a, a cloth or make like a little gutter to drain this oil out of the filter because when, you, when you're gonna loosen it up, it's gonna start <laughs> leaking with the oil from underneath it. So yeah, as you can see, the oil is draining from underneath the filter. There's like a little uh, hose, which one is letting the, uh, the oil out from the filter before we're gonna take it off. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, so here we go, that's a new and old sun pack and I'm gonna put the new one back in right now. It starts leaking a little bit from from the pan. Here we go, the old filter. All right, let's change it with the new one. Uh, don't forget to change this seal. Which one is? Is she right here? All right, so um, the filter is refitted, and also. If I can capture it, the sun, sun plug is also refitted. They're both uh, need to be torqued to 25 newton meters, and that's the diesel engine. All right, everything refitted, car is down. Let's top it up with the oil, and well, that's going to be it, to be honest. So the car is running. I would take it for a little ride, park, leave it for rest for 10 minutes and I'm gonna check the, the engine oil level. Oh, I made a little bit of mess so I clean after myself. Washing up liquid and hot water doing the job. Alright, let's turn the base on. Lovely. Right, the heating is 
uh, temperature is nearly 90 as you can see it was 90 I was driving a little bit around so now all we need to do is just control for any leaks from uh, some plug or or, or, or uh, filter housing and that's all don't be aware if you're gonna see a few drips it's probably something what was already because when you taking the uh, the sun plug and uh, filter housing it's always messy so some excess of the oil can just be there now when you warm it up it's just leak from the metal components on the ground so if you're gonna see it like constantly you can you can see a few drips then I will check the sun plug and in the filter housing so I will lift the car jack out the car and check if there is any leakage and if there is just tie it up a little bit more well I did it with 25 newton meters as uh, manual and the recommendation of Vauxhall so well that's it thank you for thank you for watching guys that was a really nice job well it took me about hour to be honest but yeah yeah I think it was worth it